Horse hands is an integral part of Tai Chi practice and something we all enjoy. Uh, it adds a lot to our ability in terms of understanding Tai Chi application, uh, in terms of building our sensitivity and understanding another person's intent and many other things. Today I'd like to show some uh, push hand tips to help you understand further how to progress in your push hands practice. Okay, let's take a look at uh, neutralizing various attacks in push hands. Uh, it's not always us that's going to be uh, doing the attacking. Sometimes our, uh, our opponent is going to do their share of executing or issuing energy. So let's just take a look right now at uh, press technique. If we're pushing hands and we're going across and we're doing various practices, he comes in for a press. How are we going to deal with that? Well, he's pressing in here. The first thing we want to do is have a book connection to the ground. We also want to um, yield a little, right? But remember, we should maintain in our mind as if we're a ball, circular sphere. So as he presses, it doesn't matter. We just turn. Weight goes into the foot, we just turn. So here, his press, if this press stays on my center and comes in, obviously it's going to take me off of my center. With just a slight turn, it's off of my center. He basically has nothing here, right? See, if he's pushing, he has nothing. I'll just rotate. Now he's aiming over there. But I'm still attached to him. So I can attack with my shoulder. I can come in and press him, okay? Because remember, in Tai Chi, these are not your hands. Your entire body is a hand, right? So he comes in, he presses, I yield. So now my chest becomes a hand. My uh, my tricep becomes a hand. I just go back and I just relax and rotate. It takes them off. Then I come in, boom, boom, or boom, right? Any kind of way. So once again, he comes in with his, uh, with his roll back, and I just, I mean with his press, and I just shift. Turn, it enables me to, to come back and do what I want to do. But we're pushing hands, and he gets into a position where he wants to press, same thing. You just keep the flow going, though. You have to match his movement, okay? Pushing hands, you come in, I come this way, I come that way, he flows, I turn, then I can come right back, and I can issue. Okay, so just because someone gets on your center, just because they're, they're coming in to issue energy, it doesn't mean it's a done deal. It's only a done deal if you decide that you want to hold your ground and maintain that real estate. If he comes in and I push and he presses and I decide I don't want to go, and it doesn't matter. He's already has a superior position. The idea in Tai Chi is to turn disadvantage into advantage. We do that through yielding. That's why we don't resist. That's why Tai Chi keeps pounding in the idea of yielding, right? We come in come and I separate, he comes in and he presses, I want to yield, I want to yield, right? It doesn't take a lot, I just need to yield enough to enable me to turn, right? See here, rotate my waist. Now he has basically nothing, I have everything. Push or turn this way, do push, or I can pull, I, I can do a variety of things. Okay, so don't struggle with, with your opponent, yield to his, uh, to his energy, and in this case, the press, you just want to rotate. Rotate your waist and shoulders here. So if he's following through, he's basically got nothing. But the fact that you're still attached to him, you still have everything. You want to press, so you press really easy. So give it a shot and see what you think. 